Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share with you uh, a very special plane and this is it. A Stanley Bedrock 607 C made from 1923 to 1926. Type 7. Sweetheart era. Uh, but none of that makes this plane special. What makes this plane special is that it belonged to my great grandfather and I am very fortunate to have it um, and I almost didn't get it. It's just pure luck that I even happen to have this plane. Um, it almost went to someone that lives in northern Illinois. Because in 2010, my dad was visiting relatives in northern Illinois, in Kankakee, and they were having a yard sale. And one of the items in that yard sale was this plane, a Stanley Bedrock 607. Something that we all want to go to yard sales and see. And so my dad saw it and he, he went up to my uncle Doc and he said, Hey, what are you asking for that plane? And he said, well, we're asking 15, but you can have it because it belonged to my dad. And I'd rather see it go to someone else than just sell it for $15. So my dad brought it home to me because he knows that I like planes. And uh, I, when I saw it, I instantly was like tickled Pete because it's a bedrock 607, but more importantly, it's got my great grandfather's initials stamped into it right on the iron isp short for ivan s paris um ivan was born in 1900 and died in 1974 three months before i was born so i never got to meet the man he was a cabinet maker and a carpenter in the 1930 census he's listed as a carpenter slash contractor so he did this his whole life um in the town he lived in raleigh illinois uh, the bank was no longer in business at some point, probably didn't survive the Great Depression. I don't know, but I'd say that's probably what it is. But the building's still there. Uh, it's a brick building with a big giant limestone block carved in the front that says bank. And today it's the Raleigh uh, Historical Society. So if you're ever passing through Raleigh, Illinois, don't go too fast because you'll miss it. There is a building there that's the Raleigh Historical Society that used to be Paris Cabinet Works, where my great grandfather once kept this plane but the funny story about that is is that years later i was talking to doc and he told me this that any time that my great grandfather would meet someone that he didn't know and they would get up a conversation and then somebody would ask him they'd say so what do you do for a living he would say well i own the bank in raleigh <laughs> which he did but it wasn't the bank anymore and he would say it with a straight face apparently which is, makes it even better because then they would think oh this guy's a banker but he wasn't. He was a, a, a cabinet maker. He built kitchen cabinets and, and hutches and things of that nature. Um, and I always thought that was a great story. Any time that I use this plane, I think of my great grandfather and then him telling someone that I own the bank in Raleigh. Uh, and if they had ever been to Raleigh, they would have known that that's not exactly a, a huge thing to own the bank in Raleigh. But um, that's the story behind this plane. And I am very, very proud to have it. I still use it. It's something about knowing that when I put my hands on it, that my great grandfather used to put his hands on it as well. And I will never restore it. I will always leave it just like it is. Only thing I ever do is wipe it down with some, some wax and some steel wool to keep the sides from rusting. But uh, I just wanted to share that story with you and see if you have any stories. Um, do you have a plane or a screwdriver or a chisel or a saw or something that that uh, was one of your relatives? If so, put it in the comments below. I, I'd love to hear it, and I promise you I will reply. And I like to share stories like that. I love to hear stories like that. So if you've got one, share it, and I would love to hear it. So thank you for listening to my story about my grandfather's six, my great-grandfather's 607 Bedrock.